ho, ho. It's time to talk about some Christmas ATCs. Yep, I'm back at doing my last swap. Or let me back up there. I shouldn't say my last swap. The last swap that I am obligated to right now with the group that I've told you about before that's online. And it's called the ATC underscore fun IO group. So I've done some different ones this year, you know, fabric with words. I signed up for the broom ride, which was 31 cards, which hopefully you watched. Um, and now this swap is going to be the advent swap. And let me tell you a little bit about it. You make 25 cards, you send them to a hostess, and then she takes the cards, um, one from everybody that plays, and sends them out to the other, you know, all the 25 players. And usually she plays, so 24. And, yeah, you usually have to, um, depending on the size of the swap, you do either have to send postage and um, an address sticker or sometimes you just send a dollar. In this case, I think it might be five because of the bulk of the package and everything. <clears throat> so I guess let me show you what I've done here. First thing I did is I made the envelopes that the cards are going to go down in. And what I used was um, old blueprint paper that I've had. You know, anybody that knows me knows me to have tons of blueprint paper laying around from the olden days. I got to thinking about it the other day and this blueprint paper is mostly from like 1998 to about 2002. So I guess in some cases you can call it vintage. <laughs> Anyhow, let me just throw my envelopes down here real quick so you can see what I've done. Now most of these I'll have to say are napkins that I had in my stash not even really sure where I got the napkins from necessarily. They were part of probably some kind of swap or some kind of give and take. Um, you know, Maybe from some of the retreats that I've gone to and stuff. Sometimes things just kind of show up on your table when you step away. And um, you also know that my goal this year, these are upside down, excuse me. My goal this year is to use what I have. Not saying that I don't buy things, but I'm really trying to focus on, especially odds and ends of things that um, normally I would hoard. I know, no one out there hoards but me. But, you know, you think, oh, I've got one of those. I'm going to hold on to it. And guess what? It's going to go. I can't keep everything anymore. I built this whole darn building for all the stuff I have, and it needs to be thinned down a little bit. All right. Anyway, I got sidetracked. So here are my um, cards that I did. Let me kind of just scooch them to the side and we'll pile them up. Now, one thing that you do is you do stamp the back and you, um, you, you put the number. Like in this case, it's 25. So this card happens to be number six of 25 that I made. It's the advent swap, my name, my email address, and the date of the swap. In this case, is December 2020. Um, so this was kind of like a leftover sticker thing that I did. This is some fabric that had sparkles in it, and then a little more bling and another sticker. This blue snowflake, something I have no idea where I... It was a snowflake and a snowman on a little card, die cut that someone had sent, given to me at some point in time. These words were um, a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper that I just, you know, you'll see these words in these cards a lot. Um, I like putting words on things, um, on my um, art, but anyhow, that's, so I, I, I tried to focus again and use um, what I had. So some more sparkly fabric. This was kind of a piece of um, journaling thing. And these were bulbs that were actually on a little string that I put up here. And then another sticker. So there's that blue snowflake again with some different sparkly fabric. I have to say this fabric was not very appealing to me. I have no idea what I used it for whenever I used it. 
Um, I don't remember buying it, but it looks like it went with something else, so I, I probably did. Anyhow, that's that. And then this was a whole page of stickers that was kind of big and getting kind of crinkly and messed up in storage. So I, I did do a bunch of these Nutcracker guys with the big um, ornament next to them. These wreaths are um, brads that I had. Um, here is actually, this was a journaling card with a very pretty sticker I had. These red pieces, let me show you what I like to use. And let me get it here. You got to excuse me too. Sissy is on my lap. So I like using pearl pens from Via, Viva. And I'm going to try to see here. They come in a ton of different colors. And they write like a pen. It, there is somewhat of a learning curve to it. Um, but for the most part, they're pretty easy to use. Um, and I will tell you that when I when I do a little dot, I do let drop the card down a few times. And it helps the little blobs kind of settle. And for the most part, they pretty much stay round. And they don't have a big point on them. And here's some that I did. See, we can get a pretty good look at this one. Do you see um, the red? It's like pretty intense and they're round and they are like mound and not, you know, like pointed. And that does happen sometimes. <clears throat> so here is another. I've kind of got my arms weird with Sissy here. Um, this is another Nutcracker guy with the ornament and a sticker and some more words. And here we go. Some more sparkly fabric and some bling. There is that Nutcracker guy again. I, oh no, he this sticker is right. I kind of had that one coming out of his hand, I thought. I was thinking my sticker got cockeyed. Um, here's that blue snowman that I was telling you about. I have no idea where it came from. But I just put it on some paper that was lights that, again, that I had in my stash. This little snow um, candy cane, excuse me. It looked like it was supposed to be some kind of ornament. It had some gold string with it. And then that hat is a Brad. And then this card here, this was actually a journaling card. This was a little um, journaling note thing that I just attached to the top. And then I had these stickers that looked like lights. And then, of course, a little angel. So here we go. Some more. And there's another nutcracker. And there's our blue snowman again. And then here we go. This is um, some more of that sparkly fabric. I think this one is really pretty. And like I said, this was mainly using what I had. I did not buy anything for this swap. I had to dig deep. And since I have been out here in my she shed, which AKA I've named it the Pinecone Cabin. Um, since I've been out here in the cabin, I am really concentrating on putting stuff together. So like all my Christmas stuff, um, for the most part, any kind of ephemera and stamps and things like that are all in this one big drawer that I have. Now the scrapbook paper won't fit in there, but again, I have it all in one big envelope. So when it came time to do this, and, and I did this at a, a, a long weekend retreat, this was the project I wanted to work on, or one of the projects I wanted to work on. Um, I was able just to grab, go to that drawer, pull out the things that I thought I would use, get the scrapbook paper, and it was easy peasy to pull out what I really needed. Um, this is that string of bulbs that you can see, and this was a journaling card that had them on there, pretty much almost the same colors. It was funny to me. So I took a little bit of diamond glaze, and um, I embellished and gave those bulbs a little texture. There's another Nutcracker fella. This was another journaling card, and then I embellished it up. Some more sparkly paper. There's that old blue snowman again. And the, you know, the scarf and the carrot nose and the black coal eyes, I did with those pearl pens from um, Viva. They, they're probably one of my favorite things to use. Um, I know a lot of people like stickles and things like that. I like those. They come in a lot of assortment. And I'll tell you the truth, I've never had a problem with any of them drying out. So I've been really fortunate because some of them I've had for a long time. So 
now that's the cards. You've seen the cards. You've seen the envelopes. So what I am going to do now is a lot of people collect greeting, I mean, uh, excuse me, playing cards. Where these were some playing cards that I recently picked up at Goodwill. Um, and I'm going to put one of these playing cards down inside the envelope with the ATC. Now, if you've ever done an ATC swap or if you have it, I suggest that you invest in some baseball card sleeves. And excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, and what you do is you simply slide your card down in the sleeve. It does a few things. Um, when it goes through the mail, we don't know what happens to our stuff when it leaves here. It can be bent and twisted and and if something should pop off of your card, for the most part, then it is at least down in that sleeve. So the person that gets it can kind of maybe figure out where it was supposed to be. We all try really hard to make sure we use great glue. I'm going to take my card and put it down in there. Take one of my playing cards put it down in there and then I am going to seal these up with some washi tape just a little piece of washi tape nothing you know just to kind of hold it down and that is going to be the cards um, how I send them so there'll be 25 in a little envelope or a little box or ever how I send them and that's that and then probably I'd say middle of November or so I'll get my 25 in the mail now, i got to figure out what I'm going to do, um, because the game plan really is, is to open up one every day um, for Advent. So that's December 1st to December the 25th. Um, I'm going to want to show you, though. So I have to decide if I kind of want to show them ahead of time. I can't see that I will do that. Um, that's not really the game I play. <laughs> Uh, brew ride, maybe I might open them all, not wait. But Advent, it's kind of something special. So probably maybe December 26th, 27th, I'll do a video and, and show you all the cards that I got. So stay tuned for that. But anyhow, thank you very much for coming by and taking a look at what I did on my little retreat over the weekend. And I guess I'll catch you all down the road. So behave and stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.